Coming up on US7 Newsbreak, find out the risks that come along with tanning. And how a Texas man puts his 401k on the line for his cat. Your US7 Newsbreak starts right now. From the Richmond Journalism Teaching Studio on the University of Illinois campus, UI7 News, your U of I news source. People of South Dakota are gathering in response to the same-sex marriage ban. A group met at a local church in Rapid City to support same-sex marriage rights. The main focus of the night were two women who have been together for 27 years and are getting ready to get married. They said that they want their grandchildren to know that everyone deserves equal rights and all kinds of love are valid. We have the ability to go do this. Our kids are grown, our grandkids live in a different state. For us, it's the right thing to do. We have the ability, we have the drive, we have the understanding that this is an important thing to do. So to not do it would be wrong. To not challenge it would be wrong. Somebody has to do it, and we're ready to do it. The couple applied for a marriage license earlier in the week, and it was denied. They're planning to get married next month in Minnesota, then come back to challenge the South Dakota ban. If there's one thing people look forward to about spring break, it's getting tan. But at what cost? Medical director at McKinley Health Center, Maureen Malley, says there are serious consequences to tanning. Malley adds that while some might think tanning and tanning beds protect their skin from the sun, it could actually be doing worse. As time has gone forward and we have more and more information, tanning beds may be even more destructive to your skin and more provocative of skin lesions and skin cancers than sun exposure. To avoid these medical conditions, Dr. Malley suggests investing in spray tans instead. As for being in the sun, she has advice for how but to enjoy the warm weather in a safer sunblock, way. sunblock, avoiding the sun during the hottest part of the days, um, clothing that is lightweight, and a sun hat. Have a blast during spring break, but make sure the sun doesn't get the best of you. Every Tuesday night at the Canopy Club, CU Comedy hosts an open mic night for professional and amateur comedians. UI7 reporter Hannah Butler gets to know one of the young stars. Can I call you back in a second? I'm doing something. Okay, you hung up. Cool. <laughs> Some he called Junior Matt Chancellor a funny guy. He is a regular stand-up comedian for the organization called CU Comedy. As a hobby, he participates in open mic nights around the Champaign area. Two to three times a month, Chancellor enjoys to make people laugh. I like telling jokes and making people laugh. Um, I think I like when other people do the same for me, so I try to reciprocate. Although Chancellor says that stand-up comedy is a hobby, he says if someone were willing to pay him, he will go for his career. Founder of CU Comedy, Jesse Tuttle, says that finding a good paying job for a comedian is hard to do. But if someone has the right amount of patience and passion, jobs will eventually come. Travel, get up as absolute much as you can, and don't go into it thinking I'm going to be famous because that's a needle in a haystack kind of thing. Each comedian has five minutes to present their material to the crowd. Tuttle saw? says that open mic nights are a very good practice for comedians exactly. to put There's themselves out there. Well, you know, there, there may be like 35, it's a much smaller room, like 35 people there. It's like, you're going to feel more comfortable and then kind of work your way up. Chancellor agrees by saying that for future comedians, open mic nights is a beneficial way to find their style and to get to know the comedic community around them. Despite the nerves Chancellor might have, nothing stops them from making people laugh. So much. Can I keep the mic? Everybody. Ah. For US 7 News, I'm Hannah Butler. Local bands and music lovers surrounded Champaign on Thursday to engage in a similar passion. The Alina Union Courtyard Cafe hosted an organization that's dedicated to bringing musicians together to create a network and form bands. Music for the Masses is part of a greater effort to spread and play music across Campus Town. Thursday, the band Organ Yang took the stage and wowed the crowd with their original pieces. They played live music including the electric guitar, saxophone, keyboard, and the drums. Their unique style and pure talent brought in a variety of music lovers to enjoy the mini concert they put on. They have different quirks from their mass to their shoeless superstitions. Music for the Masses puts on shows multiple times a year that features local bands. Coming up they have Red Light Compliance, Ashland, Dead Set, and many more. Music for the Masses provides practice space, establishes shows, and records music to help make more musical opportunities more accessible to the masses. When you mix passion and sports, you get an undeniable friendship and chemistry that brings the Champaign-Urbana area together for quite the show. UI7's Trish Christakis has more of an inside look. 
Mm-hmm. It is the Tay and Jay Show, ESPN Radio 93.5. Lance, Jeremy Warner. When you think of ESPN Radio, you imagine strictly stats and game highlights. When it comes to the Tay and Jay Show, it's all fun and literal games. Jeremy Warner decided to come to ESPN Radio and help out his colleague, Lante, in producing a talk show for the Champaign-Urbana area. Lante was the only voice of the show before Jeremy came in to help him out. And since then, it's been a lasting friendship. I needed somebody to throw stuff off of, off of and Jeremy's been the perfect guy because he knows his stats, he loves sports, and I'm kind of the goofy one. So it worked out well to where I could throw my goofiness off him and he could he can make me sound like, I, like I'm decent. Jeremy has developed a surplus of connections over the years. Getting guests to come to their studio is never a problem now because of the popularity their show has. They focus on mainly Atlanta and Chicago sports, and with their close location to St. Louis, they're also the home of Cardinals baseball. Jeremy and Lon's chemistry in the studio is very apparent, but it's their friendship outside of work that gets the fans to call in and see them more as their friends rather than people feeding them the stats. An avid part of their show is their interactions with their fans and making it relatable to their audience. While they do not talk about only sports, it's their openness to their daily lives that makes it a memorable show. It's the, it's the stupidest things people remember that we're just having fun and it's always good to know that they're having fun doing that too. So, you know, we talk sports, we get serious, but ultimately we're just building the relationship with us and then with our listeners as well. So it's good that they're kind of responding to that. With multiple listeners and daily callers, their show has skyrocketed since the first week a few years ago when it was just launched. Now today, Champaign-Urbana has a comedic sports show and the host of a lasting friendship. In Champaign with UI7 News, I'm Trish Christakis. A Houston man proved that he was willing to put out a lot of money in finding his missing cat. After cashing in his retirement savings, he rewarded the person who found her. Keith Harden's cat Dolly vanished New Year's Eve after someone broke into Keith's Green, Greens Point apartment in Texas. After the cat disappeared, he put up flyers and seeked other cat lovers and friends to help him. A donation from a friend helped fund the reward in finding Harden's cat. After withdrawing from his 401k, by March he was offering a large amount of $5,000 in cash. The cat for cash exchange finally occurred two and a half months later when a woman contacted Harden saying that she found Dolly in a nearby complex. After Harden got his cat back, he took her straight to the vet for a checkup. During this visit, he also had a microchip implanted. Well, that's it for UI7 News Break. Join us next time and have a great day.